So a lot of times when I approach my work, I don't fully have the idea, idea flushed out, and the content isn't always fixed. It can take on a lot of different meaning, whether it be from the viewer's perspective or my perspective. Things evolve and change, and often the work that I do is the dialogue happens as I'm making the work, and as time goes, it is ever-changing. So this new body of work with the flags is so fresh and new that I'm really still digesting, you know, meaning and content. I think it originated from an idea to address both historical and contemporary colonialism and how it relates to especially indigenous populations and um, marginalized populations. And when I went to do the residency in Sweden with the Sami Salasta, it wasn't my intention to use a flag in the beginning, but since COVID happened, I began to think more about the relationship, especially with countries in the North, towards their indigenous populations. A flag can mean many different things to many different populations. When people ask me where I'm from, I say Alaska, and I say the cultures that I come from. And then they always ask me, is in Alaska a part of the United States? And I say, we've been here for a lot longer than the United States has been here.